This is Rick with Shooter1721. Believe it or not, it is September and it is fall. Well, it's not the first day of fall yet, is it? I don't think so. I don't think we got there yet. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, we're out here with the Gamo TC45 and 35. We're going to do a double review with both of them together. But we're really just going to show you, we'll show you some chronograph numbers and we'll, we'll show you some we got a watermelon to shoot, so that's always fun. We got some cans, full sodas that uh, to shoot, and uh, we got some. Um, what else we got over there? Right? Some steel plates to knock down. Oh yeah, and you'll get to meet my friend Wild E Coyote. He's over there. So <laughs> basically, today we're doing some 50-yard testing of these guns, so you can see, and we're just going to shoot some stuff. We got some Nielsen ammo. We got some JSB pellets that we're going to shoot out of the 35. And then we've got some Aero Magnums we're going to shoot out of the 45. So we're going to shoot some of those. And uh, they're 259 grains. And I think I got a, a 164 or 8 for this. We'll look when we get over there. I'll say more when we get over there because I grabbed I don't know how many boxes today. And uh, we're just out at the range having fun shooting these gamos. You're looking at a 47-inch rifle overall with a 480cc tank. It is a single shot, so it's an under lever. So you just cock it, and then you put them, you drop them right into the breech and push it, and then close it. And then it has an anti-catch here, so you don't smash your fingers there. It is an adjustable trigger. The barrel length is 24 uh, inches long and um, weighs about 8 pounds. But it's not to shoot offhand. It's not uncomfortable to shoot offhand. And we'll give you the foot-pounds of energy and stuff when we're over there shooting over the chronograph. We'll see what each... Because we got so many different pills we're going to shoot today. We'll just see what they do. But this is to show you at 50 yards. So we're going to shoot 50 today with both guns. So you can see the accuracy at 50. You know what? That's enough talking. Let's go over the bench and get to shooting. Okay, here we are with the TC35. We're going to throw in a JSB 81 grain. And uh, smoke one of them down there. And Wowie Coyote. Let's see what we got here. There's Mr. Wowie Coyote. One thousand sixty-seven. Yeah, I don't think Mr. Coyote's happy anymore. So let's load another one up in there, and uh, we'll give him another one. One thousand fifty-five. Yeah. Now that's interesting. You can see it's pretty, it's doing pretty nice. Now we have a soda can down there. I gave Mr. Coyote two of those. Let's see where this is hitting. I didn't adjust the scope, so I'm doing holdover right now, so I'm doing a little bit. So I'll go for, let me take a look at the Mr. Coyote here. Okay. We'll go for Mr. Soda. One thousand forty-four. He's not too happy. All right. So you saw we shot that. All right. So now we got some Nielsen one sixty-eight. Some hollow points here. It's a flat base, so we're going to shoot them at Mr. Coyote. All right. See how they do. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Well, shoot another one. That was 810 feet per second with a 168. And trust me, these gamos got beautiful, beautiful accuracy at, at this range. At 50, they're just perfect. Wow. I'm pretty happy with that. You know, 798. So you saw we shot, we shot uh, our shots with the JSB, and then now we're shooting these 168s, and they're shooting 800 feet a second with plenty of accuracy. Yeah. All right, let's. Uh, there you go. All right, and then let's take a. Couple shots at the steel plates back there. 
I'll put another pellet in. We'll shoot at the steel plates in the back. See how they do. Oh my goodness. That's 990. And you can see we're just shooting like 50 yards is nothing. But this is a good hunting range for this gun. And 75 is good. Uh, we don't know about 100 because we didn't test it yet. So I'm just looking over here. All right. Let's shoot this second plate. Holy cow, Ryan. Did you hear that? Well, that's pretty good for the 357 there. That's just, that's way too easy for this gun. That's for sure. Wow. Nine. 1,000 feet per second with those JSBs. Holy cow. That's, that's pretty incredible. Good hits with the 168s. Wow. I don't know. This is a good hunt. I would say this is, if you were wondering, I'd say the 35 is with those JSBs shooting at that speed. Man, this is great for 75 yards, even with the pellets on a Coyote. Shoot. Shooting that fast? That's laser accurate, too. And you heard that. You can hear the hit, and we're back here at 50. Well, I'm going to go down there and spray paint. Up next is the 45. Woo! Let's see what that thing does. Okay, now we're with the big boy. So now we're shooting some 259 Aero Magnums. Oh, my. All right. So we're going to shoot Mr. Coyote first and uh, give Wowie something and see what we're doing feet per second-wise. Seven seventy, not bad. Okay, it looks Ryan looks like I have to adjust my point of aim there a little bit. Okay, woo! All right. Well, let's calm this thing down. Seven fifty four. That wasn't too good of a hit. We gotta make a better hit here. There we go. We put that one in the bread basket. That one actually went through the hole in the coyote. 733. What do we got down there? What's down there, Ryan? I think we got a watermelon and another uh, pop can. Well, let's see if we can hit that watermelon. Holy smokes. Split that dude. Hit him again. He's laughing. He's laughing at that. Holy cow, what the heck happened there? And what'd I do? Hit him low? Mm -hmm. Did I just blow through him? Yeah. Huh. All right. Oh, I see what's going on. All right. Just shooting through him. Mm -hmm. All right. What else we got down there? Got the soda can. All right. Get him. I slightly hit that one. All right, we got two steel targets in the back there too. Grab some more bullets here since we're shooting wild. All right. A little disappointing in the watermelon there, Ryan. I don't know if I hit too low or what. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Let's see if we can do something to Mr. Watermelon now. I don't like that he's sitting like that. 
Oh, he's just getting, he just, he says, I'll take as much as you can give. So we'll give him more. What the heck? Let's give him another one. Look at that. <laughs> he's taking them, Ryan. You're still above 600 feet per second. So we'll keep giving him some. Uh, we got him all blowed out. I think we hollowed him out on a couple of the shots. What do you think? I agree. I think we had good expansion there. It yeah. a little low. It does, doesn't it? I'll come up just a little bit more for this last shot. We'll give it one more, Ryan, see if we can do something that warm out. I don't know if we did. I'd say that's about it, huh? What do you think? That's about it. Looks like we got some watermelon. Yeah, I think we got some watermelon down. I think it did all right. I was expecting more out of the watermelon. I wonder what if it just blew out the back. I guess we'll, maybe we'll be able to see on the other cameras. Yeah. What do you think? I'm not sure. I mean, it looked like they were all just pass-throughs. They do. Overall, I mean, the accuracy of the Gamma OTCs, are, it's really good at 50 yards, no oh, problem. Yeah. I mean, I wish we had more time to go back to 75, but we don't. Yeah, it's a really robust gun. Yeah, I think know, it's, it's... I. What I liked out of the 35 was the JSBs, how hard they were hitting. Mm -hmm. You see a 1,067 feet per second, and you still got the accuracy to hit dead center, and there's plates down there. Did you hear how they hit? Oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Gamo, you got some uh, definite big boards here going to definitely do the job at 50 and 75. We're not sure about 100, but that's another video for another day. This is Rick. And Ryan. With Shooter1721. Thanks for watching.